After months of prodding, I have finally got my little sausages on Shimano's 105 DI2 R7150 group set, the brand's third tier electronic road bike group set. Sitting below Dura Ace and Altegra, 105 was released in June 2022 and is the first electronic group set to bear the 105 name. While the group set is by no means cheap at £1,730 or $1,890, it is nominally the electronic group set in Shimano's road bike range that will appeal to the broadest audience. In today's video, I'm going to bring you a full-on fondle of each component which makes up the group set, weighing each component along the way. On the note of weight, Shimano claims this group set weighs 2,992 grams in the most common spec. Do you think the full weight of this group set will be above or below the claimed weight? Leave your guess in the comments and watch through to the end to find out. Now one final thing before we crack on, we have already done pretty much the same video for Ultegra R8100 Di2, and you can watch that in the card above or in the link in the video description below. Now, Let's crack open this great big box, see what's inside, and get weighing. Okay, so our scales are carefully calibrated and the same ones we used for the Altegra video. And we're going to start off with the rear derailleur, the heart of the system. Now with 105 Di2, there's only one rear derailleur. It's a long cage rear derailleur and it will work with all of the cassettes in the 105 range. And this rear derailleur weighs in at... 301 grams. Now 301 grams is actually a whopping one gram less than Shimano's claimed weight for the derailleur, so after a good start in terms of claimed weights. Next, makes logical sense, we're going to go with the front derailleur. <laughs> now the front derailleur is visually very very similar to the front derailleurs used on the previous generation Altegra and Durace Di2 group sets. Compared to the new Altegra and Durace group sets, this front derailleur is slightly larger, it's got a slightly bigger body overall, but beyond that, they are quite similar. And this one weighs in at 139 grams. Again, we're actually coming slightly under the claimed weight, with Shimano claiming 142 grams for this front derailleur. So maybe there's some little bits of hardware missing, but overall, pretty close. Next, we'll move on to something a bit chunkier and no doubt really difficult to weigh. We're going to go with the crank set. The new crank set is visually very, very similar to Altegra and Durace, but it is a bit heavier overall. One interesting note on 105 Di2 is that this crank set is available in five different length options, from 160mm right through to 175mm. That's the first time 105 crank sets have been offered in such a wide range of sizes. It is, however, only available in a 50-34 combination for now, but Shimano said a slightly larger 52-36 will be available at a later date. Now we're going to weigh the whole batch, right hand crank arm, left hand and the compression plug, and that comes in at very precariously balanced 768 grams. That 768 gram figure compares to 765 for the claimed weight, so it's not really here nor there. Now the crank set is one of the places you can save weight if you are going to Altegra or Durace. And for comparison, an Altegra R8100 crank set weighs 711 grams. Now, 50 grams isn't a great deal, but when you add it up across a whole group set, if it really matters to you, it all adds up. I'm now going to go with the cassette, and this is the 11 to 34 tooth option. So this 11 to 34 tooth cassette is the only 105 branded cassette in the 105 range. There is also an 11 to 36 tooth cassette available, but that is nominally not 105. The construction of the two, however, is pretty much the same, and with this one, you've got the largest cogs mounted to an alloy spider to save a little bit of weight. Compared to Durace or Altegra, you don't get Hyperglide Plus technology. This sees ramps formed into each individual cog on the cassette, and really, in our experience, does make quite a big difference to how smooth and quiet shifts are as you go down the cassette. Now, we're going to weigh this one, and I'm going to be lazy, and I'm not going to take out this plastic spacer because I don't want all the cogs to fall all over the floor. So, 
take away one or two grams from the claimed weight. So with the little plastic spacer inside, we have a weight of 360 grams, which is actually one gram less than the claimed weight from Shimano. So far, pretty good. Our final stop on this drivetrain journey is going to be, of course, the chain. Now the chain for 105 Di2 is actually the M7100 chain, so nominally an SLX level 12 speed chain from the mountain bike side. This has been quite common with Shimano for a number of years and they do share their road and mountain bike chains across the same speed generation group set. So 12 speed chains for mountain bikes will work on 12 speed road group sets. So the chain and the quick link both in their bag because I don't want to get oily fingers. 273 grams, which is actually pretty close to what Shimano says at 275. And obviously they're in a plastic bag. Now we're going to move on to braking and we'll start off with the rotors. The SMRT70 rotors are actually a carryover from the previous generation of 105. So there's no real changes here. Now for the sake of completeness, I am going to measure a pair of rotors and we've got a 160 and a 140 millimeter rotor, which is pretty common spec on most road bikes these days. And with those pair, we have 253 grams. Now that's slightly less than Shimano's claimed weight, but I suspect that's because they've supplied a pair of 160 millimeter rotors in their claimed weight table. Now we're going to go on to the shifters. Now with this group set as it's arrived here, the full package is complete with hoses, calipers, the whole lot. And I'm not going to take it apart to give you each individual component. Let's unbox and see what it looks like. Well, now I've got out of the box, I realized I was actually wrong and they've changed how they do this now. And we have the caliper hose and the shifter separate so I can give you the individual weights of each. We'll start off with the caliper and the hose. This will have a fairly long section of hose being a rear caliper, but it'll give you a rough idea of what to expect with the full system. And this one with a long section of hose weighs in at 166 grams. And that includes pads. Now that compares to 141 grams per caliper according to Shimano. I don't think that's a very fair comparison though because we do have a long length of hose here and if you're considering the complete group set you kind of have to have that so close enough in my views. The new calipers have adopted the new bleed port layout as seen on Altegra and Durace and this sees the bleed port moved to the outside face of the caliper. This makes bleeding the brakes much, much easier, especially when the brakes are located on the inside of the chainstay, which is usually the case on most road bikes these days. Now onto the shifters. These are visually very, very similar to Altegra and Durace. They get the revised pivot layout with the shroud kind of covering the upper half of the brake lever. Ergonomically, they're also a slightly different shape and you get this really nice textured hood on the back of the shifter. And this cheeky little shifter weighs in at 221 grams. That's fairly close to Shimano's claimed weight, which is 212 grams-ish, and I suspect that's because this will have brake fluid in it. So a little bit extra there, also a plastic cap. Again, close enough. Now 105 Di2 wouldn't be a very useful electronic group set if you didn't have something to power a whole lot of it. So we're gonna jump onto the battery now. Unlike SRAM's electronic group sets, which use individual batteries to power each component, Shimano has one shared battery, which will power both the front and rear derailleur. That front and rear derailleur plus battery system is all connected. However, for shifting, it then connects wirelessly to the shifters. This battery will typically sit inside your seat post, though alternative layouts are available. And this one weighs in at 53 grams. I don't know whether that's charged or not, so we can't account for any additional electrons which may find their way in there. That is exactly the same as Shimano's claimed weight. So again, hats off to Shimano for some pretty honest claimed weight. How nice it is these days to be told what things weigh and not have brands lie to us. The final piece of the puzzle are the cables which connect the front and rear derailleurs to the battery. Here I've got a 900 millimeter long cable and a 1200 millimeter long cable. Again, that's kind of average for what you're going to see on most road bikes. It gives you a good indication of what to expect from most systems. 
So we've got a little spider's web of cables and they've got little zip ties on them as well for routing through the frame and they will weigh in at 21 grams. That's pretty close to Shimano's claimed weight of 19 grams. You know, who knows what kind of lengths they were measuring when they supplied those weights. Again, we're talking a handful of grams here. Pretty good. Now, one thing we don't have as part of this full group set package is Shimano's new 105 level carbon wheel sets. These are available in 46 and 32 millimeter wheel depths and share the rim profile as that seen on the two higher tier group sets. The deeper of those two wheel sets is claimed to weigh 1,607 grams for a wheel set. That's a little bit heavier than that of Altegra, unsurprisingly, but fairly competitive-ish for a fairly middle of the road wheel set. As soon as we've got those wheels, we'll let you know and you can read all about them on bikeradar.com. So, the results are in and I've worked my Excel spreadsheet magic and I can tell you this group set, everything you can see on this table, the smorgasbord of components, weighs 2,950 grams. That compares to a claimed weight of 2,992 grams from Shimano. Now, before you go shaming Shimano in the comments for that 40 gram discrepancy, bear in mind that there are a few things missing here. Most notably, a bottom bracket, rotor lock rings, and also we don't know the spec of the rotors as supplied by Shimano in its claimed weight table. Overall though, what you're getting from Shimano when you are reading its claimed weights is pretty close to the truth here. That 2,950 gram figure also compares to 2,577 grams for Altegra Di2 when we measured it in a previous video. While comparing weight is definitely interesting, it's definitely not the be all and end all of group set performance. And of course, all of these lovely parts are gonna make their way onto a bike for a full review to follow in future. If you wanna catch that, make sure you keep your eyes peeled on the channel or better still, subscribe to the Bike Radar YouTube channel and click that bell icon. So when we do upload that review, you'll get a notification. In the meantime, head over to bikeradar.com if you wanna read more about 105Di2, including that full weights table and the link for that is in the video description. In the meantime if you do have any comments or questions leave those below. I do read them and I'll do my best to get back to you and if you'd like to learn more about Altegra check out this cheeky video here and thank you for watching.